Hi guys. Okay, today we are going to test the 21 grain H&N uh, slugs. These little guys. Um, they are 0.217. Uh, you know what the tin looks like. These are 21 grain, 0.217. Um, I will be shooting them on 100 meters, 165 meters and 210 meters. Uh, this is one of the lightest slugs um, that, that uh, is being mass produced. So uh, it will be interesting to see what it does in the wind. Um, sorry about the wind noise and everything. Um, so yeah, first um, yeah, slugs are made to, to shoot uh, for, uh, further ranges. So I'm not going to bother with 40 or 50 meter groupings. We'll start at 100, see what uh, speed on the impact does the best. Then we will move out uh, to the further ranges. So let's see what these little 21 grain slugs do. Okay, well, you can really see the wind pushing uh, these little slugs on uh, power level 1. We'll move to power level 2 and see how it does there. Just adjust my aim a bit. Okay, um, the wind is pushing them quite a bit. Uh, let's go to power level 3. Okay, so uh, maybe a bit better, but let's see power level uh, 5. best grouping so far. Um, we will go to max, see if that uh, tightens up or what it does, then we will choose the best setting, we'll go and see, choose the best setting and then go out to 165 meters and 210 meters. I'm not sure where that one hit.
Um, okay, so let's go and see uh, which is the best grouping so that we can shoot the longer ranges. Okay, so um, power level one, not very good. Power level two, also not, not the best. Power level three, a uh, bit better. Power level four, I think most of them hit here, also not too bad. Power level five uh, looked pretty good. And then power level six uh, or max, um, also a lot of dispersion. So I would say let's go on power level five and we will shoot 150, uh, 165 meters with that. Okay, so now we are going to shoot 165 meters. I'm first just going to uh, shoot a couple of shots to see where to aim. Um, yeah, so there might be a shot or two on the target. We'll just uh, leave that out in the final uh, in the final grouping. So let's let's see if these 21 grain H and N slugs can reach out to 165 meters. Okay, we're on target. Um, okay, I've lost <laughs> count of how many shots. Let's just do a last one. Oh, okay. <laughs> the gun has uh, fallen off the rig. Maybe for the last one or two shots. Um, but I would say 165 meters. That's not bad. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe eight out of eleven shots. Um, I would say that's pretty good, especially in this wind. So let's go and take a closer look, and maybe then out, uh, go out to two hundred meters. Okay, guys. I hope you can hear me in this wind. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, 9 out of I think 11 or 12 shots pretty good 21 green sluggies um, cover with my hand uh, yeah in this wind pretty pretty good let's see if we can uh, hit on 200 okay uh, let's go for 200 meters uh, this is crazy wind let's hope this 21 green slugs can do it target let's see if we can uh, get a grouping Okay, we seem to be on target. Let's see if we can get a grouping.
uh, I'm going to stop there. Uh, it seems like this wind is a bit too much for the 21 grain slugs. In crazy wind, I would not recommend a 21 grain slug um, past 100 meters. Um, still on 100 meters, it's quite accurate, um, buckles the wind quite nicely. Uh, but for the longer ranges, rather go with a heavier slug. Okay, so this is the 200 meter target. As you can see, uh, yeah, um, not not the best. Uh, still could hit it a couple of times, but in this wind, uh, it becomes very difficult with that light uh, slug. But um, where there's a will, there's a way. You can hit on 210 meters in crazy wind with 21 grain slugs. It's just a bit more difficult. Okay, so that was quite interesting to see. Uh, the 21 grain slugs are a bit light for the longer ranges. Uh, the 29 grain rebated battle slugs uh, worked quite nicely. Um, I will uh, try the, uh, the heavier um, H&N slugs also. Uh, I uh, have up to 30 grains, so we can we will try them in, in a future video and we will see how they buckle the wind. If you like the video, like and subscribe. If you have any comments or ideas for future videos, leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.